Mad-Eye Moody is a lovely character. I mean, Brendan Gleeson was a real find for this. The thing that was interesting was back on um, Goblet of Fire, we were still designing him, and we had about five or six different looks, and nobody could agree on which one they wanted. So we applied the, all makeups in a single day. We literally stuck one on, coloured it up, ran to the set, ran some film, ran back, took it off, put the next one on. But it was really a valuable thing because then we were able to refine the makeup and produce the character you see in Goblet of Fire. And Brendan was great with this because once he'd discovered that the character really suited him, and once he'd got the hang of the eye, because the movement in the eye is actually happening on set. It's a real mechanical prop. One of my crew is literally moving that about via radio control, but Brendan really took to it. And he really brought something to the character through the makeup. And when that happens, I, I kind of sit back and I feel we've done our job right. So coming up is our fabulous foot chase section, which I was very, very pleased with, but I um, made something of an error in preparation for. Um, as we, uh, this is a great little, little moment, but as we embark on this foot race, uh, I hadn't really thought about what I should be wearing on my feet when I was having this uh, great costume uh, design chat. Everyone's wearing a pair of really, really uh, trainers or hiking boots or something really sensible. I wanted to look sort of slick and dandy. So I got myself a pair of shoes that are technically girls, <laughs> girls size nine zip up boots. Partially because they look really cool, and partially because Gary Oldman wore them when, uh, in his, uh, his role in the movie. But they've got plastic soles that completely slip. So I've got a £10 wig and a, and a £10 jacket on and a pair of basically slippers on my feet, sprinting through the woods, chasing these guys, being pursued by um, some very expensive camera gear. So uh, we shot this scene for about a week of, of running at full pelt, and I couldn't stop. They'd shout cut, and I just have to keep going. But, um, uh, yeah, so the moral of the story is wear cleats. 